What I'm seeing is this continuum from, yeah, I'm in a job that I love through to I'm in a job that I absolutely hate and I'm being treated badly, et cetera, et cetera. But then the middle is where people I think is, are getting stuck. It's when they're in a job that doesn't suck. It's not, it's not the worst job in the world, but it's not setting their heart alight. What advice have you got to people like, so, so obviously the people that are in really bad toxic environments are generally acting, but it's these ones that are stuck in the middle of something that isn't setting their heart on fire but they're turning up to get the paycheck every every week they're doing sometimes the bare minimum just to make sure that they don't get fired but they've got no soul they've got no life they've got no energy coming from that workplace are you seeing a similar thing and what advice do you have for people that are stuck in the middle if you like oh well luckily i had a little bit of a light bulb moment when i was resentful towards my employer and during that hard career audit, I focused on a couple things and I ask everyone to do the same if they're feeling stuck. What are you good at? What have you been trained to do? List 50 different things, get specific. Look at the different projects that you've done. Look at the jobs that you've had. Look at the degrees that you have. Look at the closest relationships that you have to see because sometimes our skills are mirrored in our closest relationships. So you have to look at what you've been trained to do. For me personally at that time, it was Coaching was a really, really big component of what I've been trained to do. Coaching, data analysis, process improvement. There's been different components of entrepreneurship that I was really good at, like audio and video editing, events, hosting events, selling, research. Now, after you looked at what you've been trained to do, you want to look at what you're passionate about. And if you don't know what you're passionate about, this is a great opportunity to go exploring. You can, you're not going to find the love, the thing that you love to do by sitting behind a computer and reading articles. You're going to, and, and honestly, you're not going to find it listening to podcasts. You'll get a hint when you find what you love to do by doing it. And luckily for me, I knew what I loved to do. And that was also working one-on-one -on -one with individuals and potentially talent development. Talent development was an area of interest that popped up because I was selected for 16 months of leadership training. And in that training period, I met an incredible individual who was managing our managing that, managing that program across 13 different hospital sites. And he was, I was lucky enough to hit, be paired up with him as my mentor. And when I saw his job, when I, when I connected with him individually on a, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation, I go, you are someone that I respect and you are someone who's doing work that I would feel respected doing. And so I started exploring the realms of talent development and leadership development. That's actually how I got to where I am today because of that individual who highlighted that field for me. It lit me up, right? It sparked an interest. Now I'm also passionate about health and there's a lot of different ways that I define health, but this, this aligned explicitly with how I wanted to impact other people's health right? through personal and professional development. Now you also need to have a path forward. So career development, what are you learning? And you have to know what you're working towards or you will start to feel stuck, right? So if, you, if you're able to focus on work you're good at, work that you're passionate about and, and something that you're working towards, then you feel your work is meaningful. You feel that it's challenging and you feel confident while doing it, which is incredibly important. Now there's like a couple other pillars such as do you have the resources to do your job and do you have social relationships at work that, that matter to you and that bring you joy and that are, that are positive? But honestly, when it comes to just where you should be in your career in regards to work, it is those three key areas. Hey everyone, it's Mick Spears from The Leadership Project, where we empower leaders with the knowledge and skills that they need to create amazing teams and amazing workspaces. If you're enjoying our content, please do remember to hit like, subscribe, and that little notification bell so that you can be notified of all of our future videos. In the meantime, please do take care, look out for each other, and join us on this journey as we learn together and lead together.